<laughs> hey, welcome to the uh, May 2014 Classic Series, and I'm here with my uh, associate and host, assistant host. Now, you know we're building a new studio, did you know that? Yes, I know that. You told me that. But I, I'll believe it when I see it. No, it's starting. We're I, All that stuff over there is going to the auction, man. We're selling it. And Dad's coming in. You're actually getting rid of something? Do you want to be... <laughs> even the old the, tires. The pack rat of all I, time I, is I getting have, rid of something? I actually called a guy this morning and said, I have some old tires. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Where can I sell yeah, them? Yeah, well, to me. I'll buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, which tires are you talking about? I said, those tires from one guy. He goes, just get rid of them. What are you talking about? You make an artificial reef out of them or something. <laughs> um... Not a good segue into this wine, old tires. <laughs> yeah. But um, we were just talking about this wine, the Triata Malbec from Argentina. I, I don't understand how you can make a wine like this and put it on a boat and send it over here and we can sell it for $8 on a reorder. I mean, it's mind boggling. It's funny you said that. Ha ha ha! No, because when I was walking in the studio, I thought to myself, how can they do that? Because we just said that. You didn't, mm -hmm. Was there an echo in here or something? Yeah. It's this just is a like real one, long echo. I mean, this is like one of the richest, full-bodied, yeah, fruit-forged Malbecs I've ever had. That's amazing. You know, 1999 on a shelf, which is a, a good price at 1999, it's 7.99. It's a joke. Mm. The only problem I have with it, it doesn't have that kind of cranberry-ish sort of Malbec uh, aroma. No, it doesn't. You know, I mean. But, but, that, but the flavor is just amazing. It's amazing. I get blueberries. I get Be strawberries. Beautiful I get color. Raspberries. I get. And it's the balance. There's plenty of acid, but it's got a nice full middle. And you know, sometimes you know, sometimes Malbecs are kind of lean in the middle. This has got yeah. This has got some guts to it. I'm doing a 97 on I this. I like this too. 97. It's 19.99 on the shelf. Seven. <laughs> he chokes when he says it. You know, isn't that cute? How he does that. Okay, so you know we have these QR codes, folks, and you can scan that and take a picture of the video. We will be watching this video. But do, have you heard of augmented reality? I live in it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's where I so am. I told my friend, he told me about this augmented reality. I said, look, augmented reality isn't you know, going to the Dodger game and drinking beer and inning. That's not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, right now, the reality, Dodgers are playing like it's augmented reality. <laughs> augmented reality is you would take your, your smartphone or your iPad and just look at the label and it'll execute something. It'll play a video, it'll be produce, a, you can take you to the vineyard. It's wild technology. You know, they really use it like in Google Glasses. If you're walking down the street, you see the Eiffel Tower, and it starts to play a video on the Eiffel Tower. It gives you a history of the Eiffel Tower as you're watching. That's what augmented reality is. I see. You know, there are going to be a point which you don't have to get out of bed anymore. It's going to be like that. You know, you just you just put on these glasses, and you're gone, and you're already there. You know, mm -hmm. airlines will go out of business. Meanwhile, back to Echelon. 2011 Pinot Grigio. Now this. I love the color of this. Is this not what Pinot Grigio should well, look yeah, like? Well, yeah, it's got that little greenish it's tint perfect. to it. And the green is kind of gray copper. I love it. And all Pinot Grigio on the nose and the flavors. Yeah, it's delicious. Well, this is my buddy Kurt Lorenzi who makes this wine, and Kurt's a fabulous winemaker. I've extolled his virtues in the past and will again in the future. Um, $14.99 on the shelf, $6.99 on reorder price. Killer you know, wine for we did really well with the Szechelon lineup. Well, there's really great wines for, great. for no and money. How we, I know how we got them at this price. I don't know, but we got the Pinot Grigio. We did the Pinot Noir, which which I'm pouring at a major event uh, coming up. As opposed to a minor event. No, Steven Spielberg and, the, and that crowd is going to be drinking some of this. Okay. Well, I mean, we're big on production of the videos. Look at the I mean, Well, yeah, He's heard of us, of I course. Mean, of course, yeah. I mean, he's, he's trying to get in on the action <laughs> is what he's trying to do here. So, And then we did the... Um, Saving Private Ed. What was the, the red? <laughs> we did the red, which was really good. Oh yeah, red? yeah. All right, so I'm giving this a 95 because I think it's really good. I, I'm I'm a 94 mm. because I want to be different, mm -hmm. and I certainly am. Anyway. I think that's beautiful. 6.99. Yeah, it's really something. Okay, now for something completely different. Monrovia Station. Monrovia is, Station, and here which it is. is a, a, a tribute to our hometown here, and uh, we found some juice for this. And I grown right here in Monrovia. It's my Merlot <laughs> Cabernet. Uh, Great wine, and really this is making wine. a big hit around town. Available at some uh, local markets as well. The nose is like a wonderful, rich vanilla and uh, black cherries and, mm -hmm. and cherries. Really good. Mm -hmm. It's got a little marzipan in there, which I, I don't like in, in desserts, but I love it in wine. I can't figure that out. This is the last 
train, so physically, this picture is the last train to drop a passenger off at the Monrovia station, which is now completely blighted. <laughs> but well, was, wasn't a, that a monkey song about uh, sixty years ago? The last train to Monrovia station. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> last train to Clarksville. Uh, he at the station. I'll meet you at Monrovia Station. Yeah, they were. Okay. See, that's what they're really saying. You play it backwards. That's what they're saying. <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Turn me on, dead man. Fifty nine. <laughs> Fifty ninety nine on the shelf. Seven ninety nine for more. Uh, great, great value. For yeah, this price. is ninety five percent Merlot, five percent Cabernet Franc. Why would they even mention the five percent Cabernet Franc? Anyhow, I'm giving it a ninety six. I like it a lot. Ninety six too. I like it. I'll go with that. I will go with that. And I'll catch you at the station, Ed, at the Monrovia station. All right, this one. This one. So. So. Are you into? Yeah. <laughs> colloquial sayings like uh, high on a hog. High on the hog. <laughs> um, only if it suits me at the time, you know. Well, this is a 2011, I think. 10, okay? So the color's going to be a little darker because it's 2010. But this wine, it got huge reviews from the staff when we tasted it the other day. And so I asked one of the staff, I go, what does high on the hog mean? So he Googled it. You know what it means? You're living high on the hog, Ed. You're, you are high on the hog, baby. Yeah, you know, it's, it was one of those you things, know. emails that somebody sent me uh, about how these sayings got started. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't remember. Mm. You know, I, I How about don't look a gift horse in the mouth? How, don't look a gift horse. You know what that means? Well, it means don't look a gift horse in well, the no, mouth. Well, no, you it's can tell a horse's age by its teeth. Right. Right? So if somebody gives you a horse, don't look at his teeth, say, oh, just take the horse gracefully and move on. Right. 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 High on the hog right. means you're you're up there in the echelon because you're able to afford or live the lifestyle of the better pork because that's the shoulder meat of a pig, Right. Yeah. And that's high on the hog. I'm living high on the hog, man, because I can go after the good stuff. At the... But the shoulder's the cheapest cut. I don't get it. The most important is the is the Don't rib. blow my rap. Well, I, it's wrong. Huh? It's wrong. Don't you sue me? <laughs> <laughs> um, can we get back to barrel this 27? A, I'm, I'm guessing there's it's Vignet, Marsan, it's a Rhone blend. Well, that's what it said, so you're probably pretty accurate on that. They don't, they don't tell you what it is. Each bottle of this wine... Represents a dream realized by friends. Well, that, wow, boy, that's really deep. Yeah. You know? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Okay. Well, fine. I think they were a little high on something else. I don't think it was big. <laughs> Anyhow, it's a terrific bottle of wine. Sixteen ninety nine on the shelf. Six ninety nine on the reorder price. And I'm doing a ninety five. Yeah, I'm doing a ninety five because I, I, what I like about it is, it, yes, it's a two thousand ten and it's white, but because it's those Rhone varietals, they get they get fuller and they get. Yeah. Years they go. I would, I'd sure like to know what the makeup is, but they're not going to tell you. Anyhow, that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is our show for today for May, already May. No, April. What am I talking about? Oh, that was close. 2014. See ya.